he transformed all society in a quiet, modest way. And I actually met him once. And it's very strange when you meet a great person that nobody knows about, because they're just like everybody else, except he had a mild Miss Western accent. My friend uh, Philip Nozier says that he used to talk as though he was like Donald Duck. Well, Nozier's is French, and so he would say quack, 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 quack. He wasn't like that at all. Well, I'm trying to draw the symbol for the transistor, which has a circular element, and then there is a base, and then the wires coming in and going out, so there might be currents coming in and there. Well, you take a slab of material using a semiconductor like silicon or germanium, and you put in impurities in it, dot it in there, so that if these impurities give out electrons, you're going to have an excess of electrons in this bit. And you have another one over here with an excess of these particles and lots of electrons. And then inside you put another material where there are positive charges in here. So these are meant to be electrons and these are meant to be positive charges. And you make a sandwich. So this would be negative, positive, negative. And you cram them together and make them all join together so that the electrical currents can go through this. And then you put attach electrodes here and electrodes there and electrodes there. And you have a device where you can change the properties in here by shifting what's called the chemical potential in there. And that changes the electrical properties of the current flow, the flow through here. And it's as though it's a sluice gate. And you have a flow of liquid through here. Push the sluice gate down, the flow through there is reduced, lift it up and it, it increases. Only you can do this very quickly because this is electronic, it's not governed by mechanical effects. The other reason I chose it is the person who did this was John Bardeen, who with Bratain and Shockley got the Nobel Prize for this, but Bardeen was so very talented that he got the Nobel Prize also for discovering the theory of superconductivity, that is, uh, metals whose conductivity is zero, they, currents can flow without resistance. So there were two things that he did, both of which got the Nobel Prize, that set him apart. Yeah, I mean there are some people that you regard of in the theoretical physics world as being unbelievable. I mean he transformed all society in a quiet modest way and I actually met him once and it's very strange when you meet a great person that nobody knows about because they're just like everybody else, except he had a mild Miss Western accent. And we were at a conference in Grenoble in 1978, and my son was a year old. And this great physicist picked my son up and cuddled him for a while. So I've always had a very soft spot for Bardeen. And when it came to do research first, I picked on a topic that John Bardeen had chosen, the paper by Bardeen, Bame and Pines, and worked on that field for several years. So this is one of my heroes. My friend uh, Philip Nozier says that he used to talk as though he was like Donald Duck. Well, Nozier's is French, and so he would say quack, 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 quack. He wasn't like that at all. Uh, he was easy to understand, but he was very shy and um, self-effacing, and yet he's had more to be proud of than anybody else. I thought originally, when you came to see me, that you just wanted symbols in physics, which were going to be letters, Greek letters, whatever, and that's the things we use all the time. And I suddenly thought, well, we could have a whole plethora of symbols which are used in other ways, such as the transistor. And this seems to me the thing that's changed our lives more than anything. And I could write down lambda, mu, and nu, and all the other ones, and try to blind you with science. But this is actually what has transformed people's lives. And it's this symbol that represents, to, at least to me, the whole concept of taking different sorts of materials, putting them together, making contacts and making electrical use of them.